watch and learn. Hey everybody. So tonight I would like to discuss Alice Cooper's fucking awesome 1987 record. And that of course is Raise Your Fist and Yell. Now this record, this, this is like Cooper's heaviest record, like by far. If I'm not mistaken to Step On, yeah, Step On You is on here. Yo, Kane Roberts, he's like lead guitarist and main writing partner. He was fucking going nuts on that record because Step On You is like, is just as heavy to Alice Cooper as like Reclaim My Place is heavy to Korn. For me, like Reclaim My Place is pretty much the heaviest song I think Korn has ever made as far as like how badly it crushes. But then Step On You is on this motherfucker and that thing crushes as well. There are aspects to the guitar play that, that Roberts is thrown down that is just so big and so hulking and so chunky and so good that it makes an already supremely heavy record even heavier. I mean, this is so rad because it was at this point I got into Cooper right around. I got into Cooper technically a couple of years prior through uh, him doing the theme song for Friday the 13th Part 6. The first Alice Cooper record I got my hands on was Constrictor. This was the second, I think, or the third. I can't remember if I bought this next or Billion Dollar Babies. But I got this next and then my, my parents got me tickets to see him in 87 or 88 when I was eight or nine. My dad went down with me. And I mean, I could go on and on about that concert. I ended up falling asleep, mind you, so I didn't see the, the big finale. But Cooper cut babies' heads off and they were spraying blood everywhere. He drenched the first 12 rows in blood. Uh, at one point, he had these like mongoloid looking things come out and take him and then they put him in this noose and then they hung Cooper on stage and his body like twists all the way around so that you can see that there's nothing supporting his neck through the back. Because of course, Cooper is a hell of a showman and um, so he, naturally you have to see his body do the complete 360 in order to sell the fact that he's actually hung and he did it. And then he, 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 he uh, took on the, the role of this sort of mad scientist and he built this massive monster. It was right before he did, uh, I think it was Teenage Frankenstein. And what he did though, before, as he was building this thing that would inevitably be like 15, 20 feet tall, he needed a ladder to put the top part together. He held up each part to the audience so everybody in the crowd could see that these parts that he was making this thing out of were completely hollow. Because again, Cooper's like a fucking magician, right? And so you see him building this monster out of these hollow things. And then sure enough, like I said, it's like 15 or so feet tall. And then he commands it to stand up wearing his little like Dr. Frankenstein outfit. And the fucking thing gets up. Like it got up and started walking around the stage. And it was swatting him around and shit because of course like Dr. Frankenstein did, Dr. Cooper lost control of Dr. Cooper's monster. I mean that show was incredible and I even got his autograph. I was asleep unfortunately. Apparently he touched my arm because my dad had me in his arms and my dad waited around for like an hour to get the autograph because my dad knew somebody that worked there. And I'll find the autograph and put it up in the video because anybody can say they have an autograph for anybody. Oh yeah, yeah fuck. I live with Brad Pitt. No you don't. But I actually, technically I met him sort of and I have his autograph. So I'll be sure to put that up. And yeah, this record's amazing. I love the artwork and I love how freedom is so pro-American. The freedom to rock, the freedom to talk. And it's like, it's so like go USA and, and down with the USSR, which of course in 1987, 1988, this was a big thing. The Cold War was drawing to its inevitable conclusion. America was coming out on top. And I get like such a pro-American vibe from that song. And I love the United States. So that's super fun. What else is on here? Uh, Lock Me Up is on here, Step On You again. Um, Roses on White Lace is on here, which is like one of my favorite songs Cooper has ever done. And of course, the track Prince of Darkness is on here, which was coincidentally used by John Carpenter in the movie of the same name that Alice Cooper is in. And Alice Cooper gets to kill somebody in it and he kills the person by shoving a bike through them. And guess what the person's listening to on their Walkman just as Cooper kills them? Prince of Darkness from this record here. So you have to understand that, you know, I was, I was into Cooper since I was a kid. I got to see him live, all that crazy horror shit. And then like, boom, Prince of Darkness. I love that movie. I've loved that movie since I was a kid, even though I know it really doesn't make a lot of sense. And then Alice Cooper was in the fucking thing. And then one of his songs from one of the records that I loved growing up was used during one of the killings that Cooper got to perpetrate. That's amazing. This record's amazing, that movie's amazing. 
I am really happy about this. But yeah, look, I'm gonna go. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for just about five minutes while I discussed Alice Cooper's absolutely fucking badass 1987 album, and that is Raise Your Fist and Yell. Like always, if you like this review or you like this record, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. But most importantly, please don't forget that the world is actually a better place because you're in it. Like always, I'm getting out of here. It's getting cold. Have a good night.